What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. So you can see it was the uh, arranged match versus Cold September and this one came down to the wire. What a fantastic war this was. Uh, 2.0 ended up coming out on top as you can see by one star. It really came down to one TH10 three star that 2.0 got. Um, but there were some very, very, very close attacks that easily would have just completely turned the tides of the war at any given time. So, and it really came down to the last attacks of the war. Um, so hats off, you know, to cold September and, and those guys, they, they really know what they're doing over there. That's for sure. So we'll just kind of scroll through what they did to our bases. As you can see, they got twos on all the tens and threes on all the nines. So... Uh, they definitely definitely know what they're doing over there. On top of that, I know as well, they had a 99% two-star by Ain. So just missed the tying star on that. Uh, I know KNX also had a 99% uh, one-star. That's why it doesn't show up here on, uh, on Ain there. And as you can see, Don Leon pulls through with a three on number four. So... I definitely got some attacks to show you guys. Uh, really, I caught uh, I caught a few guys in some live attacks uh, last night, pretty late, um, which I'm glad I did because I got some great footage. But uh, I was talking about something um, about the Invicta members that are actually on the Cold September side for this war, just kind of filling war weight. And I had mentioned Beer Me. That's actually the Cold September Beer Me. I didn't even realize that Invicta also has a Beer Me. So it kind of fooled me, and it was actually Joshy. Josh is our uh, fourth Invicta member on the Cold September side. So just clearing that up, but with no further ado, let's check out Dawn's Beasley attack on number four here. So going in on Fatty, what he's going to do is what he always does, and just drops his queen, drops his king, few healers, and gets his air defenses and CC troops. Queen goes in. Locks on the air D. He delays the healers a minute too, so they don't get taken down by the air defense. I thought that was really smart. King's in there taking his own air defense. He's also going to pull the CC. There it is coming after him. He doesn't really care too much about it because it's a Lava Hound, uh, but drops the poison on it, I believe, there. Uh, it's taking down the balloon. King's about to go down, but it's not a big deal. He might get a couple more buildings there, but his job's done, really, because he's taking 20% of the base with just his heroes and a few healers. Two air defenses down. CC troops are pretty much down. Uh, I don't know if this uh, hound actually busts. I think it does. Yeah, it must. Uh, but he just doesn't really care at this point. He's just going to drop some hastes and those lava hounds right on those remaining two air defenses. Uh, it is a single target inferno, so it locks on to that hound and busts it pretty quickly. But look at this. Hastes and rages and freezes like at, over everything. Look at all the balloons. And really, there's one, two, three, four, five, maybe eight defenses left up. I mean, there's an archer tower down at six there, but... Dawn just shredded this base. You still have two hounds up there? Yeah, two hounds are still alive. He's got pups and minions all over this base. I guess those aren't his pups. I kind of was mistaken as I was watching that. But uh, at this point, it doesn't really matter. There's an archer tower, cannon mortar. This whiz tower could, I guess, do some damage. But uh, really, he's looking pretty solid at this point. As long as this group doesn't fly near that whiz tower before these loons take it out, they're golden, and they got a lot of work to do before they get there. Dawn just ripped it up, bud. I think this one of the this hound uh, bus, yeah, bus right at the perfect time too. Couldn't have asked for a perfect, perf more perfect bust on that. Cleaning it up for the three. Nice job, Don Leon. Sexy. So let's jump down to some of these Town Hall 9 attacks. Uh, there were some really good ones, you know, and <laughs> I had to be kind of picky with what 
I wanted to show here because uh, I, I can't make this recap half an hour long. Uh, so we're going to start off on the CS Beer Me uh, with Freddy's Attack. Freddy comes in with a Stone Goho. Uh, fairly standard. He's going to start creating his funnel. He really wants to move everything down into here. He wants to get to this queen, pretty much eliminate any of these spots on either side. <clears throat> but he's going to be really patient, just get his funnel nice and wide. One more shot from that whiz would have been perfect, but doesn't matter. Let's everything move in. All three golems just moving straight ahead. He's being nice and patient on his king. As soon as the CC is out and locked onto the golems, he can drop his king. He's got some wizards in there. Poison goes down for the uh, CC troops. King's lock even locking in, helping clear some of those CC troops up. They're now taken care of. Everything's going to continue kind of pushing to this point, and the king's going to lock onto the queen here in one second. Defensive queen is about to go down. I don't, it hasn't even used his king rage yet. He's being nice and patient on that, but he started his hogs. He's got a heal down. He's really just going to kind of send in a few different groups on either side here and just keep him healed as he goes through. He's got three heals. The next heal is going down. No problems with that bomb. He's got skeletons all over his hogs, but they're pretty much standing in heals this entire time. He's basically got one more heal for this top section here. Looking great at this point. Hogs get healed right back up. Just got to take this mortar and archer tower down. So I think with all the skellies, I don't know if he gets this. Yeah, he does. But he definitely loses a lot of his hogs. And he's only got one left there. I don't, I don't think it kills this mortar even. But he's just got enough juice left with this queen and all these archers. And he's got two wizards, a little bit of like a cleanup crew coming around this bottom edge. So really he is looking fine. I'm going to fast forward this a little bit because it's pretty much clean up. But uh, great job, Freddy. Fantastic attack. Go. That's the three. All right. Moving on. Uh, number 17. I decided to like Hoodie's attack here on number 17. So he brings a Shattered Lalo. He's just going to go in from this side. He's going to open it up, uh, jump in here. His goal is to get the two air defense, the defensive queen, and the CC. So three wizards on, on the bottom, two on the top. He's just clearing all this out, making a nice funnel for his king. Golems go in. Again, great patience on the king. It's going to go down as soon as the CC locks on right there. So king's going down right now behind it. He's got a heal in the bag here. So it's kind of... Oh, it was a max attack. My bad. I didn't even see the earthquakes. I should... Uh, should have made note of that. Uh, but yeah, so he's going to heal his king, rages his king. He ends up getting the two air defense. He gets great push into this base. A huge chunk of this base is taken out. And instead of the poison, he brings a haste here for his air attack. So he sends in two llama hounds on uh, the 12 o'clock air defense. He's just going to sprinkle a couple loons in on each defense. He's going to end up hasting somewhere in here to basically try and cut everything back down. Yeah, there it is. Cut everything down to this last air defense. And there goes his third lava hound on that uh, 4 o'clock air defense. A couple more loons on each, on each of the outer ring defenses. And he's looking pretty good at this point. There's not a lot that can stop him. This Tesla's there, but... Really, this Lava Hound is going to start moving over and tanking everything. He's got four, eight, nine loons up maybe. Bunch of pups starting to do clean up on the ring side of his base. He's looking good from this point. This is a three-star. Absolutely. Hoodie, you just killed it. Good job, bud. That's three. Right on. So we're moving into 19 cash. 
making the highlight reel again. 38 hogs. Goes in cold-blooded. This guy had a hole in his base, as you can see, and a golem in the CC. So that was kind of interesting. But what Cash does here, he, he pulls this all out. Pretty much just deals with the golem. Because it's not going to do any damage to his golem. So he just opts his golem. Starts beating on him with this queen. Deals with it that way. Just goes on like normal. Creates his funnel. He's ideally just going to try and jump the king over. Like he's just clearing out a section. So when he drops his king, it's going to go to the wall and right over to the queen. There's the jump. Just setting it up here. King should be going down. There he is. So he's just going to jump for that mortar, but the queen's going to suck him right in. Down goes the king, and here come 37 hogs with three heels. <laughs> so he's looking pretty, pretty golden at the at this point. He's just got to get not get unlucky with the traps, and he can really just overwhelm this base. So down goes the first heel. Tesla pops up there, but it doesn't really matter. He's got so many hogs in there with them starting to reinforce now as he as he moves around this base. This section is going to get a heal and some reinforcements on the archer tower. Sets off the bomb there. It doesn't matter. Heals right back up to full. Reinforcements are coming in. All his hogs are now in, and he's just... Like, look at them all. It's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Cash just absolutely crushed this base. And it's clean up. Right on. Three stars. Solid attack cash. All right, so I really liked Nightmare's attack here on uh, number 21. So one more here. He kind of brings uh, it's almost like a max attack with hogs, but uh, I guess just call it a shattered goho or earthquake. <laughs> That's what we'll call it. So wizards go down. Nice big funnel. A uh, few extra wizards on the town hall just so it goes down. Uh, faster you always want to make sure especially if it's the town hall you got to get it down quick so it goes down golem start moving in uh, earthquake opens everything up so really that king's gonna get in there uh, he's just gonna rage it up and all the barbs are that, that whole section is just gonna get taken down they should move in and kind of take care of these defenses so his goal there is to force the hog pathing around this way He's gonna go in. He's uh, sprinkle in with some hogs here any second from about the right on this whiz tower, I believe. As some reinforcements. Yeah, there goes the giant. Uh, drops the giant first. Uh, I think four or five hogs behind it. I think his goal was to get this crossbow, uh, which doesn't actually happen, but it doesn't really matter, as you'll find out. So the Tesla goes down. They don't quite get this crossbow. Um, but he just surgically deploys, so with it being heavy over those Teslas, heals over the Teslas. He's got a few on this end that are eventually going to take down um, the air defense and then the crossbow and that last Tesla's going down. So he just has this section up here to deal with now. Um, does have a poison here. He could have dropped it a little early on the skeletons, beating on his hogs there. Uh, probably doesn't realize he has it. <laughs> I know that happens to me all the time. Last defense is about to go down and Hog's turn. Finish off the skellies. There's the poison. That's about when I notice it too. <laughs> and awesome job, Nightmare. Crate 3. Got wizards all around the base. I think he had 2, 5 hogs left. 4 or 5 hogs at least. Doing cleanup. Golem unbusted. Might have been tight on time here. Tough to say. I didn't actually see it live. Good job, Nightmare. That's the three. All right, fantastic. Great War CS was a valiant, valiant effort. That's for sure. You guys, you guys gave gave it a run for the money.
uh, so hats off and uh, absolutely the these fair play wars are, are literally what what this community <laughs> just lives for so uh, let's keep them keep them coming and uh, you know grass 2.0 on the win and until next time guys this is wiser I'm out